Hello guys, Lunatech CC here. Uh, this is part two of my advice series. Um, if you want to check out my first one, which was kind of general tips for everyone in the game, um, it's in my playlists at the bottom of my homepage. For this part, what I'm going to do is go through uh, lists of heroes, which I think people underestimate. Um, some people say they're absolutely rubbish and not relevant in the game anymore, and I disagree with them. And uh, I'm going to go through the heroes I think fall into this category. Um, some people may you know, he's hear my advice and think, well, I never underestimate that hero. But you'd be surprised how many people do actually underestimate these heroes. So the first one I'm going to say is Grizzly Reaper. And the reason for this is Lava 3, right? If you're free to play and you don't have a Spirit Mage, um, then you want to be leveling up your Grizzly Reaper because he's one of the snipe heroes that you will be using. I mean, they with Gunslinger about, um, if you've got a Gunslinger and a Phantom King, they're the best two to go for. And then Reaper, you know, if, if you can get War God on, on him, he's still pretty good for the PvP modes and a lot of other things. But definitely, if you don't have a Gunslinger and you're free to play and you don't have that Spirit Mage, you want to be leveling up your Reaper for Lava 3. Because at some point, you will be doing Lava 3 and you're going to want to evolve Reaper. So definitely don't ignore Grizzly Reaper. Um, Siren comes... I think don't think a lot of people underestimate Siren. She's obviously good for Arch Demon. People don't underestimate Phantom King again for uh, Lava 3. So I'll just keep going. Um, the other one I'm going to say, and people will probably be surprised at this choice, is Orcsbane. Right, now the re there's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, Orcsbane's obviously a good tanky hero. So he's good to put kind of those like, you know, obscure talents like Heaven's Wrath, or if you've got a spare five corrode, or a Condemnation. He's one of those um, heroes that's good for that. But the other thing as well, there's only actually four like main healers in the game, and that's uh, Pixie, Druid, Ghulam, and Orcsbane. And even though his healing isn't the best, um, He's still good to have leveled up for Fortress Field because if your first three teams get wiped out and you've got a team four and you want to put a half decent teammate, but you don't want to be using heroes which, you know, backup heroes that which would want to go into your strong heroes, uh, strong teams for the next round, then Orcsbane's a good choice to have as a healer, you know. So definitely don't ignore Orcsbane. He's still pretty good. I mean, even at level 10, obviously his heal's not the best, but his damage is pretty good. His hit, hit point's still pretty decent. Um, he also, don't forget, he slows enemies down with his proc. That's another thing people forget about, you know. So just to have as a, as a healer in, a for, in, in your team, you know, your backup, first backup team in Fortress Food, that makes Orcs being a decent hero and for putting those obscure talents on. Um, I don't think people underestimate Pixie, but obviously she's a good sniper and good for Guild Wars, so don't ignore your Pixie and think she's rubbish. Right, Trianta. People sometimes think Trianta is no, no good. He's, he, like, he's a crap hero or something. A, he is actually good for things like PvP modes in Lost Battlefield. If you've got a decent one with a decent talent, you know, th you want to put like a revive or a revite on him. He obviously is great for Guild Wars um, if you're doing Mino Bomb and you won't underestimate him then. Um, you know, so Trianta is a good heal. But the other thing as well, he's very important for Lava 3. Uh, you have to have a decent level Trianta with at least uh, level 7 skill. So um, if you want to get in Lava 3 teams um, more easily, the one, the one that uh, tends to be the difficult one to find is Trianta teams, because people do ignore Trianta. So, like, you know, get him involved. Um, you'll find it easier to get into random Lava 3 teams. Um, I don't know if there's any... Oh, right. This part, I think it's the last one. Right, Candy Cane, right? People think Candy Cane's garbage, which is utter bullshit. Candy Cane is a really, really good hero for the PvP mode. Apart from the fact she comes with a level 8 Scorch, which means every... every uh, fifty percent of her hits uh, don't register as um, damage, so that means she's you know every hit every fifty percent of her hits she's taking no damage. Um, the other thing is if she if you got her with a five revite, she's amazing for the PvP modes uh, because she will proc straight away, and um, you know look at level ten she'll reduce the energy by forty six of three heroes. But even if you don't have a five re and she does damage as well and. Also, the dodge rate makes it really good for PvP remotes because she'll, she'll increase that dodge, which means your other heroes aren't taking as many hits, right? Which makes it really good for PvP modes, right? If you don't want to put a 5 revite on her, yeah, there's another route you can go down, and this is the route I went down because there was no way I was putting a 5 revite on her. I went with Zerk on Candy Cane, which might seem a strange choice, right? But Zerk was Scattercrest, and the reason for that is, right, and the one thing that people forget about with Candy Cane is she's got a really long reach. Her reach is, is amazing, like, she's one of the best reach hero games, um, reach heroes in the game. Um, so, 
she'll be like you know hitting from a distance in the PvP modes, putting down scatter, hitting quickly with a zerk, and then when a proc goes off, even more scatter. So it just makes a really she's ba- she's one of my main ones in the uh, in the uh, Lost Battlefield. I use she's in my uh, team four. I use. I mean, I've got better heroes now, so she's been demoted to my team four. But she does a lo- lot of work for me in Fortress Field. So um, you know, definitely don't underestimate her. And um, you know, I, you know, make sure your candy cane's decent. If you get a revite or go down that road with the with the Zerkress, definitely. Um, I don't know. I I can't imagine people underestimate Lady Leo. Leo, she's a she's a great hero with a built-in eight bulwark. You get a revite on her. Mine's got a scatter, which makes her really good. Um, the other one is right, and this is the one everyone say, "What the fuck you talking about?" Right, but I I think people are wrong. People say Dracax is rubbish. I don't think he is. Right, it, he's very talent dependent. If you can get a decent talent on him, you know, obviously, like, if, um, he'd be probably one of the heroes with a war god. But if you can get like a war god on him, an eight war god drag axe is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. You know, I've seen I've seen some uh, fortress field teams and lost battlefield teams with drag axe, and they've they've absolutely annihilated. Do you know what I mean? I remember that we had this one fortress field. This guy had a double evil drag axe team, and it, no one could beat it. It was just wiping everything out. It had, um, I think, it had like four revive quests. It must have had like an eight war guard or something because it was just doing so much damage. Obviously, reducing the healing as well is major, especially in things like Fortress Field where every every team has a healer. So it just makes him a really good Fortress Field hero. And people just automatically think he's crap. But the other thing as well, like his proc lasts for quite a long time, over five seconds. That makes his proc last longer than Vlad. And okay, he doesn't have the stun of Vlad, but he comes with an eight deadly strike, which gives him extra, you know, damage. And his attack damage is actually higher than Vlad. So an eight war god Drac axe is actually going to do more damage than Vlad. You know, difference is he won't self heal and he won't have the stun. So you know, people underestimate Drac axe. If you get a decent talent on him, like on my one of my backup counts, I got a stone skin on him, and he's good. Yeah, I find him really good in in Fortress Field. You know, he's decent. Like you know, um. Revenant's a decent hero as well. Don't underestimate Revenant. I don't think a lot of people say he's rubbish or anything, but he's, he definitely don't don't uh, sleep on Revenant. He's decent. Get a decent talent on him. Either Bulwark or Stone Skin. I, I got Bulwark on mine. He's a very good hero. So don't underestimate him. I think all the others people agree with. They, they say they're pretty decent. Um, you know, Multanica's. You know, people say he's out of date. If you get an eight scatter Multanica, he's still amazing for a lot of, lot of game modes. So you know. Uh, that's the only route to go down with Moltanic. If you've got if you've got a five scatter on Moltanic, get it to eight scatter. He's a really decent hero. He's actually still in one of my lost battlefield teams, and he's not even double evolved yet because uh, he's that good with the scatter and everything. So yeah, guys, those those are the heroes I think you you want to uh, not underestimate and then automatically assume they're rubbish. You know, um, like you know, I mean, the one people are probably going to disagree with the most is Drac Axe. You know, um, I think I'm here. My Drac Axe, where is he? He was born with a scatter, he, and he's really good for Fortress Food, you know. I, you know, guy the hero's got to level up. I'm not saying he's the best hero, but I'm not saying he's rubbish. He's definitely much better than a lot of the Shard heroes and quite a few other heroes, you know. I mean, he kicks ass compared to, say, a Death Knight, for example, do you know what I mean? So, you know, um, hopefully, hopefully you'll find some uh, tips out of this. Definitely uh, take note of the Lava heroes, you know, because uh, Lava 3 you will be doing at some point. All right, cheers, guys. Hey.